Hi, good morning. Today is my birthday and I thought I would make a video of me just getting ready and I can post this video. Um, so yeah, I'm 39. Last year of my 30s. First thing I'm gonna, um, see if I don't need to like razor my face. My color is totally coming out. I don't even know if I have an actual video out with me having or posted a video with me having put the color in my hair. It's just uh, Arctic Fox hair color. That washes out. So, anyway. I need to get ready. I'm kind of in a rush. Um, I don't know if I've shown the nails. They're black and gold. Growing out a little bit already. But, um, and then I got this tattoo that needs to really be redone. Like, it is absolutely horrible. Like, it, like all the purple. It's supposed to be a thistle. Like, everything just kind of scabbed off. It, it looks, like, really gross. But I could kind of tell when it was just done. It might not be okay. But anyway, so... I saw somebody do the face razoring thing with like lotion on or something like that. But in that case, I do need paper towel because if you don't wash your razor, then it just kind of, um, you're ruining your razor. So I'll be right back. I just gotta grab a piece of paper towel. Paper it is. Yeah, um it just everyone has peach fuzz and it just makes your makeup sit better if you don't have the fuzz on your face. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my lotion here. Get on and then put a little bit more lotion afterwards. But yeah. You know, I just heard that it just sits way better if you do it this. I mean uh sit, it is it gentler. On your skin, if you, I could, I could tell, I could tell it is more gentle. I'm just gonna do this the bottom half of my face today. There we go. Yeah, that works pretty well. A lot less painful than normal. And then now just you gotta wipe it off. That's what I... I ruined one of my razors by not wiping it off. But yeah, this is pretty fun. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. So, there we go. Okay, then I'm gonna put a little bit more founda in the foundation. I mix my foundation with... Um, with my lotion because i'm finding that on you know not super young skin which obviously i'm 39 years old so i don't have very young skin at this point i think it's better to do half foundation half lotion so that's what i've been doing for the last little while and people are like oh wow your skin looks so good you're glowing you have such nice skin i'm like no i don't i do not have nice skin i am pink and i'm splotchy and i have like yeah i am i do not have such a nice skin it just because of the foundation the way i put it on you could still see my skin underneath so people are, are like convinced that i'm sometimes not wearing foundation when i am but because you i want you to be able to see my skin still if i have imperfections or you know freckles or stuff like that i don't mind if you see it still i don't need it to be like a mask and i have like porcelain skin like that just i don't i don't need it and I find that if I put my foundation on just pure foundation, that it looks so thick and then it doesn't, um, it goes in my creases and stuff like that. Now, obviously, I did not remove my makeup all that well yesterday, which is not so good. But I don't have time for this, so I'm just putting it over top. Uh, there's like sparkles here, but I do foundation my eyelids because it kind of works as a base. Eyeshadow goes on better, stays on longer, like all that stuff. Like, it's kind of like a base, so... Mm-hmm. Okay, I did also start using this big brush because I just found that it was kind of a little bit faster. Like, it just kind of, like, does, like, a, a, a good blending. Okay. 
a little bit of an ouchy right up here. Okay. I really did not remove my makeup all yesterday. Okay. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go with um, contour. I don't know, am I supposed to be showing you guys what I'm using? Like, my lotion is this natural, I don't know if it's local, but I think it may be local. It's called Eminence. Really nice lotion. I also use uh, their under cream. I think I just smushed uh, foundation in my eyeball. Okay, I use uh, Kat Von D contour. make all the weird faces but if you make the faces then you know where to put it just you see oh true making the face just makes and look at the difference already like it tells you what to do it tells you where your cheekbone is so when you make the weird face it tells you exactly where to put it. And the same with, with the blush. I put the blush on the same way. I was teaching one of my kids from church the other day. Because he, he, he did this. Because you smile. That's where you see where your, the, the, your apples of your cheeks. That's where you want to put it. When you smile. It's on the right spot. Now this is not so good. I kind of. But that's why. I kind of have to go on it on a. On a sweep. Like I don't want to put too too much. So I have this big brush. if I kind of went a little too much then I can blend it with this big brush I need to wash my brushes all, all my brushes I'm going to be um, doing a video of I want to do more makeup videos wow my hair is really gone lighter I'm not bothering doing my hair today because it is raining so there's absolutely no point okay here we go with highlighter oh oh that this what I don't know what brand this is cheek to cheek no what brand is this? Made in Italy? Does anybody know what brand this is? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is just drugstore, but they're so pretty. It's such a sparkly highlighter that I just, I love it. I use a mixture between a drugstore and like Sephora or something. So I'll put a little bit on the nose, I'll put a little bit on the cheek. Maybe a little bit too much on my nose. And again, you grab the big blendy blow brush and you do this. Okay, that's kind of my skin routine. Lip stuff, I there's not really any point. I'm going to be eating in the car, so I'll make sure I'll bring one. Or I have one in the car. So, for eyes, we're going to... I use this kind of revolution. It's a cheapo drugstore every day. I have some, like, Lady Gaga and, like... Anastasia, like I have some like more expensive makeup palettes, but they're highly, highly pigmented and I don't have time. Those are really for when I have tons of time. So usually I just go like, kind of like a this one. And then I kind of make an, a dramatic eyelid. And then I pull it in. I like more dramatic makeup. And I love fall colors, love it. I think my hair is kind of turning like a little bit orangey i'm gonna i'm gonna try like an orangey next time because i have three arctic fox colors that i'm blending right now so anyway i think it's fun to do a birthday makeup look so that's basically what we're doing right now i do not have a ton of time i mean i could post another video in the car i was supposed to post a video a few days ago but i i've been going through like a lot of things with my diet and stuff like that trying to figure things out um, and I think I, I mean, I am definitely, I think coming to like the final conclusion. <sighs> uh, so I put a bit of lighter just on the inside. I'm going to be sparkling those lids anyway. And then I kind of brush this off and then I take the like the, the, the light white one and then I blend that all up here. Yeah. There and then, um, I've been. I was putting like a powder on, but like 
This this one works just as well. What brand is this? Stilla. I have a lot of Stilla, like sparkly, sparkly Stilla things. I'll, I'll show you guys after, like here. Like this is all Stilla. These are all. This is kind of my my vanity, my setup. So I'll I'll show you guys that another time. But yeah, I need to post my videos. I want to. I really want to. So this one is just like. I already had stuff there from yesterday, but you know what to do. It was kind of late, and I... I thought I put my makeup off, but I really didn't do a very good job. And I just kind of want to pull it out. looks a little bit crazy but it's okay so now sparkles why not i always just grab one and i'm like sure and then i just sparkle like the like half of the lid kind of like that sometimes i'm getting dry though and i need to get the dry ones to the side so I can replace them. So, there we go. Sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, and then lips I will do in the car. Hair I'm not going to bother because, like I said, it is raining. So, I'm growing my hair again. I want it long. And I have a system, basically, like, I just... I highlight the top, and then I put funky color. That's what I'm going to be doing right now. Okay, so... Um, I don't like leaving my vanity disgusting, so I just kind of put things back. Oops, come on. Like I don't like leaving it gross. Um, I have to I have to set a rule for my sister because she uses my vanity too. And at one time I just saw her like walk away and everything was out. And I was like, what the heck? Like you need to, it's like one of those rules where you need to leave it better, the same or better than you found it. So that is my rule with my vanity too. Like, like clean it up, please. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is what I look like. Great. So, uh, outfit. I'm wearing my David German necklace, David German bracelet. I'm David. These are Keith Jack. They're from Van in Vancouver. Uh, I, these are supposed to be like my wedding earrings, but I chose different earrings. So, um, and then um, this is Torrid. I got this from Torrid the other day. I think it's so pretty. Um, and then this dress I got from like this place in North Van on lonsdale um let me just do a can i turn the camera while i'm mm, i don't think i can i don't think i can oh well that's fine anyway so um i guess i'll post this video so that i can have something to see my 39th birthday on because i think that's pretty fun so anyway um i will make another video on a card and i'll post that one as well so bye for now oh by the way if you like this video i will be doing more makeup videos and hair videos and like plus size fashion videos that'll be really fun um because i am on this whole new discovery of wearing proper clothing for my size and not always buying what i fit instead of what i like i'm actually buying things that i like and that's a really big difference for me so i'm wearing like um a really cute like nude bralette like i'm starting to wear bralettes and they're so much better for you ladies please wear bralettes because your boobies will thank you because you don't have all those horrible underwires poking in you i am also all for having your breasts in a natural place because we've gotten used to smooshing our breasts up to our necks in very unnatural places and i'm really like not for that i'm all for having your breasts be in a natural place so 
also, I am 39 years old. I have, a, I have a husband. I don't need to, I'm not trying to like catch a husband. I'm not trying to impress anybody. So I basically want, um, I just want to be comfortable and I want to look good. And the thing is, Torrid, I, I'm going to make a whole video on Torrid and how incredibly emotionally grateful I am to that store because it has actually made me feel sexy for the first time ever being my size whatever size i am they their clothing are amazing anyway but i will make a video about that maybe in a car today because i am wearing this beautiful piece so um why am i flopping this credit card around so this is my husband's credit card anyway so um basically if you like this video please press thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel bye for now